hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today in this video we are going to learn about how to make the spotify application and uh, by using spotify apis okay uh, these spotify apis are available for developers okay so uh, i also uploaded some other interview related videos you can also to check out okay let us move towards our application what application we are going to make let me open the incognito mode i already have started the application so on this port 3000 so this is our login page login page is um, uh, simple because we are mainly focusing on our uh, application so if you do the login you will redirect to the uh, our main page of our spotify application okay so right now <coughs> we have multiple sections like this home section search section okay and this is the right bar right now nothing song is selected so i didn't add any check okay if the no if no song is selected uh, we have to show different thing but anyways so let us move uh, let us click on any of the uh, artist okay suppose honey singh if i click on any of the song so you can see the song is getting started okay uh, and the one thing if you click on this add to your playlist uh, you can see these uh, songs is also getting added here on the right side okay uh, sorry on the left side and while playing you can also do change the uh, change the artist okay let me show you So this application we are going to make today this application is kind of good personal project so and in this uh, in this application what are the things we are going to learn uh, let me show you i have a list okay so in this application we will see how to set up the redux okay uh, because we are using global store for uh, uh, for uh, for storing the uh, the token whatever token we are getting after the after doing the login okay so we are we are setting the redux persist because if suppose somehow if refresh the page uh, if you don't have this uh, redux persist setup uh, that it um, then our global store will vanish okay so we don't have any state uh, left uh, that's why i'm using redux persist and we are using material ui for designing things okay and and we are also going to take a look of handle pages based on the login okay so based on the login because uh, let me show you so right now we have made the login okay so if i go in the login page directly you see you cannot uh, go to the login page directly okay so this is how we uh, we, we are going to handle and we will see routing as well how to set up spotify api api okay and re-authenticate after the to token about to expire okay we will also check whether uh, suppose our token is uh, get, uh, we are using our application okay so if our token is about to expire uh, like suppose our token is expired okay at that time if you make any api call uh, you will get the false response okay because the token is expired so that's why so we will see how these uh, how these things we are going to implement okay and i will also put all the codes okay in the github uh, in the description such that it will be more easy to uh, check the code okay 